Hello and welcome to the latest in the series on the new economics of voice communications. Now stay with me and over the next few minutes you'll discover what caused one major company to see their voice traffic surprisingly increase by 500% following the adoption of unified communications and how they then implemented a strategy to successfully keep their budget under control. Well I'm here today in the studio with Alan Sawyer, European Business Development Director of Tata Communication. Alan, thank you very much for joining me. I want to start by asking you, what is driving the markets? We're seeing significant changes really driven by Cisco and Microsoft and their unified communication solutions um, they're putting into the market. We're seeing about 75% of our businesses, and this is borne out by independent analysts as well, adopting unified communications. And the compound annual growth of that is expected to be around 13%, which is leading to a market of about 50 billion by 2014. So why are companies adopting UC and what's the end goal for the business? The, the end goal of deploying unified communications is really an increase in efficiency. Independent research says that uh, efficiency will improve by 61% once unified communications has been deployed. And this is really about the methods of communications they're using internally. So moving from traditional methods more into chats to video um, to maybe more telephony than they were used to before, which is empowering the employees and making decision making a lot swifter. So why should this have any ramifications for voice and data costs? Uh, as enterprises deploy unified communications, it will increase the bandwidth they need to manage their communications. And what we've seen is significant increases that have been unbudgeted by some enterprise customers. So what are the key considerations for the enterprise when considering uh, unified communications? The, the key consideration is choosing the right partner to work with. So to help them identify the right strategy to deploy to really achieve their objectives over three or five years. Having found the right partner and the right technology is then making sure they size their network and bandwidth correctly. So why should this have any ramifications for voice and data costs? The key ramification is really for data. Uh, the thing that's been really underestimated by about 30% of the market is that they, their, their bandwidth requirements will increase as they move to more data and voice technologies using their IP network rather than traditional methods. And we've seen that with some of our customers be increased up to 500%. That was unbudgeted and unscheduled. Wow, is that an extreme case? That is an extreme case and it's the worst that we've seen. But it just demonstrates that many enterprise customers do not f understand the implications of unified communications and maybe even their partners don't understand them as well. So it's very much a learning curve. So what are some of the common mistakes that an enterprise could make? It's really not having a very clear strategy to start um, and not being clear on, on what they're trying to achieve within a set time scale. And then maybe trying to do it themselves. And independent research again shows that 30% of, cus of enterprise customers do not have the right expertise. So it's really identifying the right partner that has skills that match the skills of the enterprise and can really deploy the sol solution for them within their timescales. What can an enterprise customer do to counter this? Well, we've seen examples like that and, and others unplanned costs as well uh, being incurred by enterprise customers. So what we can do is offer significant savings uh, on other things like core costs for them. And we offer an, um, an in independent audit of their core costs that can save significant amounts of money one example is that we have a customer deploying unified communications and we're saving them 4.7 million on the first year's worth of calls. And that's a global solution that we're providing for them. Now that saving can be used against the cost that the planned costs they know for deploying unified communications and also against any unplanned costs. And there we have it. Alan, thank you very much indeed for joining us today. Well now, if you have any questions on how to get the most effective audit of your voice communications, contact us anytime via the contact button on this page. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye. <music>